Fairy Queen Bee here with another episode of Fairy Q&A. I had a great question the other day. It was so good that I'm going to share the answer online. The question was, what is a sacred or special place? So what can we do? I'm imagining the question is, what can we do to help create a special space so that we can go to Fairyland too? So what's very important to know is that fairies have lots and lots of knickknacks. They love collecting lots of little shiny things and, and in their houses they will have um, beautiful little oils and crystals and all of these things. But in a fairy house or in fairyland, they're very, very tidy. Like really, really tidy. So they have all of their oils and all of their their garden and all of their flowers they're all color coordinated and it's pretty full on but if you want to either visit your own fairyland or create a space a safe like little space for them that area that you're going to create that space has to be super tidy because otherwise they're going to look at it and be like no thank you this I they're not interested in messes they really like made beds and clean rooms and no toys everywhere so when I was first a fairy before I sort of became a fairy queen I sort of realized that the more I cleaned up around on like in my house or in my space the more areas Fairies could come and visit and it meant that my access to Fairyland was a lot easier. So by having things um, put away on shelves or by putting your toys away in the boxes or however you tidy up, um, that's the best thing to do to make sure that fairies will come and visit in your dreams or um, in your sacred space. So the the sacred space that you can create, um, it it will be like a little corner of your room, or maybe you've got like a little fairy garden outside. But the bit, most important thing to remember is that it has to be tidy. So I was given a little poem to read to you guys from the fairies because it was a really good question. Um, and the fairies wrote to me and they said to share this online. Um, so I'll read that to you now. Clean your space, clean it well, so mum and dad can't tell. Clean space means clear head, which means a made bed. Your room, your space, your clear little head, all means fairyland can be accessible in bed. Laying down toys away, sweet dreams to hear what the fairies say. Cleaning your crystals and having a fairy garden will have the fairies saying, I beg your pardon. They'll excuse themselves from whatever they do and they'll come in your clean room to look for you. Mum and Dad won't know what to say and you'll probably even make their day. They'll be proud and the fairies will want to play. Listen to what they all say. So go and clean your room rather than looking like bing, bang, boom. And that's what the fairies told me to share online today was clean your room because the that's how they that's how they like it that's how the fairies like it it means that they will feel like they want to come and play lots more um so yeah uh, one other thing that i wanted to mention about fairyland was you might see that i've got one of my more original um crowns on today it's the lavender crown um and usually the lavender fairies for me give me lots of messages and that's how i got this poem today but one thing I wanted to mention was their glitter. So because fairies love glitter, 
it's very important to have them like all your like your glitter boxes because in fairyland everything is in boxes everything's like i said everything's color coordinated so they have these shelves like maybe we can use this as an example so every single brick would be like a different color glitter in the office of glitter in fairyland so whatever color fairy that you might be friends with they will probably have a particular color maybe the dress that they wear or maybe the crown that they wear um and they will usually use that glitter the most popular glitter from fairyland is obviously silver purple and green but there is every single color that you can imagine of glitter there is it's very glittery fairyland. Um, so I'm going to just wrap that up. Just a quick little message um, for the Q&A. Just one message today. So make sure that if you have any questions for fairyland that you um, put them in the comments below and I will get to them and I will respond with hopefully a great answer for you guys. And um, quick recap, clean beds, tidy rooms, sacred spaces are wherever you want to make them as long as they're tidy for the fairies. Mwah! Love and light, fairy delight!